In this video, you'll see a real life example of a recursive React component and by the end, I will also give more examples of IRL applications of this concept. So stick around. Hi all, this is Zephra or you can call me Raza. We are going to discuss a crucial concept today, uh, which is recursion in React or recursive React components. Now let's just go over the basic recursion concepts quickly because I actually plan on doing a somewhat detailed video on this concept separately. But for now, let's just go over some basic things. So suppose you need to get the nth item in a hierarchical data structure similar to a tree with nodes, child nodes and leaf nodes and that data structure looks somewhat like this. By the way, for more advanced users, if you want to skip right to the React way of implementing this, use the timestamps in the description. Now, your client comes in and says, hey, I need item 3 in this data structure, which is probably coming from somewhere you have no control over and now you are sitting there and writing a function to get that item element from this data structure. Two scenarios can come here. First being really unlikely that the client tells you how deep you need to go into to get this item. Go in three levels deep and you'll find it. Something like that. Second being actually that they don't tell you how deep you need to go or where you need to stop. Now you can use nested loops in the first scenario where the client told you how deep you possibly need to go to find what you are looking for. Even then it is plainly a bad way to do it or for both of these scenarios you can use a recursive function to do it and it would look something like this now let's see where it would be useful in react the best example of this is the directory structure where you could see and use folders and then files or some folders within the parent folder uh, you can probably make an educated guess by now how cumbersome it would be to write a lot of loops in the component to render all the directories, all the subdirectories and all the files within those subdirectories. Plus, using loops you will be limited to go a certain level of depth and anything beyond that depth will need to be updated in the code. It's better to do this using a recursive component so let's code that and make it work. By the way, if you are finding value in this video, give it a quick thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. So as you can see, I have already set up the project here. And what I'm doing here is that I'm going to show you uh, the steps to create this project and the things that I installed. So first of all, you need to use the npx create react app recursive component command. What we'll do is that it will create a folder directory with all the react uh, necessary settings already stored on it. Next up, just cd into the project folder and run npm install dash t for the dev dependencies and tailwind css post css auto prefixer. This will install the tailwind to our project and then run npx tailwind css in it. This will initialize the tailwind and then run this command right here. This is just we we are just adding some icons to our project here. All right, so when that's done, there are some settings that we need to do. Actually go over to the tailwind.config.js and make sure that it looks like this. Also same for the postcss.config.js, make sure that it looks like this as well. All right, go into the CSS file and make sure that this stuff is added here and also go into the app.css and clear everything out. Then you can go into the app.js uh, file and then uh, pause the screen where you want to pause so you can copy everything that's on the screen. I wrote all this stuff beforehand. For the imports, I did not do much. I imported some font or some icon component. I imported some icons for folder for files and carrots and I imported use state from React. And this is the recursive function so pause the screen and copy that. All right, in the app function, I am just using a use state for the data and this is the item. So again, pause the screen and copy all this stuff. Also, I'm using this function for the toggling. I'm using this a uh, little bit of HTML and CSS for some, this is just class names based on Tailwind. So don't get confused when I say CSS. If you don't know, 
tailwind no issue just copy this stuff you already installed tailwind and it should work it would work perfectly so i'm not doing much here i'm just making some components i'm writing a for loop an initial for loop and i am basically returning an element that is checking if the item is clicked on uh, if the item's state is open is true then it will show the recursive component otherwise it will not render a recursive component so we're just going to call a recursive component once here and then all the logic of uh, handling the child child notes and everything else will be handled by the recursive component itself all right as you can see that i passed around item dot children to the recursive component and what i'm doing with this is that i'm using the children component and i also the toggle folder that was passed along i'm using that in a loop uh children dot map is used here and what is doing that is returning an element which has a uh, kind of some logic going on so if it's a folder then i'm going to show it a little bit differently on the screen this is the styling for that so if it's a, if it's a folder then i have uh, shown it a bit differently and you can see it on the screen in a few moments and if it's a file and i've shown it a little bit different here for the file and i'm passing it along uh toll folder for both of these things uh, but still it will not work for one of them since i have some condition in the toggle folder function as well and then also i am writing this little piece of code that will be responsible for showing other items in the children so if there is a ch item in the children then we will show more items so let me just what it's not working so let me just uh run that again let me just show you what it, it looks like uh, in working so this is the folder i opened it and i can actually open multiple folders go in deeper levels and i don't i didn't actually have to write a lot of loops here and good thing about it is if i kind of like uh you know copy one of these elements and just paste in a new element then uh we will have that new element showing up it's that easy to go even one more step uh further we can actually see how it will work if we can just if we just copy the whole folder so right here i copied the whole folder i changed the item number and let's see what happens so there we go we have a new folder just like that we did not have to write any loop any for loops any special condition and this will just work you can add as much uh, items you want into the children and it will just keep on working it will not break you will not have to write any more uh, for loops code to do anything so uh, it is it is pretty neat and make sure to use that whenever you need something like that into your project and make sure to like this uh, video if you found it helpful it helps the channel a lot as you can see i'm pretty new so make sure you like it and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye bye